So this is a horse that's going to be showing in uh, Ranch Trail this coming up year. Last year she was shown in Ranch Pleasure, Reining, and Boxing. So she's shown in those three classes. We want to show her in Ranch Trail so that we can compete for the all-around. I need to get her where she will pull the log. Today's going to I think be the first time I've done it with her. She is uh, a young horse, but she's been handled a lot, ridden a lot. I expect this to go pretty good, but we're about to find out together. What I want to do is go over here. I'll do it on my left and pick the rope up. I'm going to kind of jostle it around. Even though this horse has never done this, I really expect this to go good, but we'll find out. Notice I got all the way at the end of the rope. I'm not going to just dally up and start dragging right off the bat. That is setting up for a wreck. I want to make sure that the horse is okay with the rope, which obviously she's pretty good with it. This is a pretty broke horse in general, which I've kind of talked about in Denali's video. If you get your horse broke, all this other stuff comes easy. And that's, that's this horse. She's pretty broke. So I'm going to start by walking some circles, bringing this rope with me. I'll walk over the rope, I'll walk over the log. Log's kind of sitting in a little bit of a hard place. If this horse was really resistant, I would need to turn that log because making that sharp turn to go over the log is kind of hard, but I don't expect really this horse to have any issue with this, even though this will be the first time she's ever pulled a log. So I'm going to walk over it one more time and then I'm going to make the log move. I need to kind of make it move out towards the middle of the arena. Notice I'm keeping the log on her right right now. There we go. Then we'll take the pressure away. Go back to walking over the log. This past spring was the first time, I think it was this past spring. Might have been the fall, uh, fall before. But that was the first time this horse was ever hauled to a show. And she was a handful in the beginning. A big handful. By the end of the year, turned out to be a really good horse. And we just kept bringing her, putting a little pressure on her, showing her what was there, and moving on. Letting her figure out that it wasn't anything to worry about. And then the process, that got broke. Make the board move again. This isn't the saddle I would normally work the board in. This is the saddle I normally work cow horse in. So it's not really set up good for dallying, but we'll make do for today. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. Now what I'm doing with the rope, apply pressure, take the pressure away. I just took the rope and folded it in half right there, just like that with a loop. That way I can set it on the horn, let the horn take the pressure, let her pull from the saddle so she feels that pressure on the saddle. Then if I need to, I can just let go if she panics or something. Slowing way down. She's, she's not scared of it, but she don't know what to do about it. Let's make it a little bit shorter. So you look at the rope. You want to look at it? 
Let's go forward. This is what you want to see. She's trying to look at that tail hanging down. She don't know what to think about it. Let's go forward. This is what you want to see with a horse with a good mind. She sees that tail hanging down. Not really afraid of it. She's just trying to check it out and understand it. I'll take that. Let's show it to her. Whoa. Sounds like somebody acting stupid squealing tires. Got more money than they need, I guess. Get more tires. All right, let's do this again. She's trying to look at it, which at this point, you want them to get the chance to look and understand it but they still need to do what you're asking them to do. So I don't mind if she turns her head and looks, but she needs to still go where I ask her to go. Something caught her attention out there. I don't know what. When stuff like that, when you're riding your horse and your horse does something like that, you're working something new and the attention goes off someplace else. That means that whatever the new thing you're doing is, isn't they're not concerned about that enough to really focus on it that means it's time to add a little more pressure so now I'll shorten the rope add a little more pressure notice we're still going to the right I'm gonna make sure I get her accustomed to it being back there and following her before I turn left and have that rope up against her hip. One step at a time. Not going to, just all of a sudden, well, not gonna just all of a sudden ride her like she's a broke horse. You always hear me say that to get a horse broke, you gotta treat them like a broke horse. That is true. I am treating her like a broke horse. You see, I got up here and I just started doing I'm not acting timid about it. That's what I talk about. Treat them like a broke horse in how you ride. I'm not going to act like there's something here to be afraid of. We're going to come do it. I'm going to ride in the manner that I'm going to ride. but I give her a chance to understand what we're doing. Let's go over here. Let's get a little further away from the step so we don't bump it. Okay, so she's pretty comfortable with that. She's looking around. She's more concerned about what those horses and cows are doing out there than she is this log. So she's not really concerned about it. It's time to add a little more pressure to her. Let's talk a little bit about when you need to add more pressure and when you need to just keep doing what you're doing. Huge point that a lot of people don't really grasp the concept of. So let's talk about that. I'm dragging this log around and she's looking out there. She's not really looking at the log. You saw in the beginning when I started dragging logs, she was looking at the log, she was looking at the tassel. She was focused on that because that's where she was a little bit more concerned. Well now, as long as She's bringing her attention out. She's not as focused here. This is the time to add more pressure. Now, I'm not gonna keep doing this over and over and over when her attention is out here. 
I'm going to add more pressure. That's going to bring her attention back in here. If you don't add more pressure, step up the degree of difficulty in as the horse is ready for it, then you're going to create some different problems. Then you're going to create problems like the horse acting like it's too hard to pull, it don't want to pull. You're going to end up kicking because it don't want to pull because the horse wants to look over here and the pulling is hard. So you have to increase the degree of difficulty as the horse tells you that it's time to do that. Get some of these twists out of my rope. So she's telling me that it's time to increase the degree of difficulty. What I'm going to do, now I'm going to start letting the rope go against her hip and pulling to the left so that she feels that pressure. Notice I changed how I'm holding the rope. Let's go forward. Stepping on that tail, that's okay. Don't really care where this rope goes from the aspect of I want her used to it no matter where it is. She steps on it, pulls on the saddle, goes between her legs. I'm going to work that in just a minute. Goes between her legs. Put my hand down low like that. I can put a little pressure on her hip. And then we'll go back forward again. Get around, we got a little more room to do that. Notice the log is, the rope is long. I want her used to the pressure on her hip. So that's why I have my hand low like this. If I had it up like before, the rope would slide above her hip because I have it so long. By doing it this way, I can get the board back a little bit and I can let her feel that pressure on her hip. Looks like Breeze is out there flirting with Bubba and somebody else out there. Oh, Mac. I guess she's found her two boyfriends. So I probably could have done this more in little pieces. Most other horses I probably would have. But since she took so good to pulling the board the other way, I went on and just made a whole loop here like this. Now let's get start getting this rope a little shorter. Get a little bit more like it would really be. Go back here. Let's go forward. Yeah, you just drug it all the way around here. Now she's snorting at it. Whoop. Caught on my foot. There we go. I'm a little bit more committed here because I got these loops in my hands. I got a dally. It's not as easy to let go of it. That's why I want to do that other one first where it's really easy to let go if she panics. Even though it's close, she could panic, but it's not totally new to her. Let's turn this way and let's change directions. Change directions. Let it disappear from one side and appear to the other side. That's the next step in the process. First thing I did was get her used to it on the right. Next thing I did was get her used to it on the left. Now the next step is for it to transfer back and forth from one side to the other. Right now she can see it out of her right eye, it's not on the left. Let's go across the arena and we're gonna change directions. I'm gonna put it on her left eye. Now she's seeing it out of her left eye. More concerned with the cows than she is the board. There 
Ah, she looked at it that time. See her left ear back at it? Ears always tell you what they're thinking. Ears back, that's what they're thinking about. The ears gonna point to what they're thinking about. Give my arm a little bit of rest. Let's make one loop. Take the pressure off of her. Walk over the board, add pressure, release pressure. That never changes through the whole process of training. Always add pressure, release pressure. Now I need to get her where she'll pull the board backwards, but I'm not gonna work that today. I'll save that for another day. Always end your ride with improvement. I had this discussion with somebody the other day and people always hear end on a good note. That's true, you do want to end on a good note, but is that a good note? Is that good thing good whoa, compared to where you started that day? Did the horse start off really bad, get better, and you ended on that good note? because it was better than it started? Or that good note that you end on, is that better than the ride before? Real important distinction there. You want to end on a good note, but you want to end on progress. She could have worried about this, started worrying, and I still would have considered that a good note because that was better than yesterday than that she had never drugged the board before. Think about ending on a good note. Good note, yes, but that good note needs to be better than the day before or better than two days before. A horse is not going to make like stair steps improvement every time, but over time that improvement should come. So think about that when you're looking for your good note to end on. She's never done this before. I can't complain about that. She did good because she was broke to begin with. This is Bug. I'll put a link up here to her other videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.